Hi, everybody. It is March 1st, um, Tuesday. This year is uh, plowing right along. I was thrilled yesterday. Uh, we got confirmation that we're going to be doing the Grammy pre-show concert um, at the uh, MGM Grand in uh, Las Vegas, I think, on April 3rd. So that's something I'm really looking forward to because that is one great show to do. Uh, I've said it in the past, I only wish the Grammys would air the pre-show uh, over the uh, regular show. We end up doing probably, I don't know, there must be 70 awards or something given that day before the televised show. And it's all, it's world music, jazz, classical, technical. There's so many, you know, amazing people that are getting Grammy Awards during the course of that show. And we have to work up approximately 80 pieces of music for the show and have to be like on the ball, like Cheche Alara is our musical director. And the minute something's called, boy, we got we got songs to do. And it's it's great. It's so much fun. So I'm really excited about that. We've been waiting for confirmation and we finally um, got it yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, waiting for waiting for plumbers to get here now. Today, um, we couldn't resolve the uh, that drainage issue. Um, so they're bringing in a camera scope to go down the pipe and see what's going on. Now, everybody's, a lot of people have expressed different ideas and concerns for what need to be done in this situation. Um, exactly what had been going on that came up during the rain is rain gutters on one section of my house all go into a, like a collector box that then goes down and hooks up into a piece of like six inch ceramic pipe or four, yeah, six inch, I think, that then goes under my backyard down a hillside. Well, somewhere in that um, is where there's a blockage and I'm hoping it's, it's in a spot that we can access. Um, but what would happen is when that backed up, that collector box was above some uh, casement windows that are going to, that, uh, act, show into the basement and the water was building up behind them and, and percolating in between from those which is what was flooding things so um, so we just need to get it resolved I have a feeling I kind of know approximately where this is but there's no way of knowing until we actually get a scope down there and can take a look at it so somewhere between it's 10 o'clock now and somewhere between now and one the uh, people are supposed to show up so I'm in a in a holding pattern here. Um, uh, I'm going to do a, a video now. Um, the video I'm doing, I'm going to do about uh, somebody. I, I posted a video many, many videos back where really great drummers around town um, were giving their thoughts about the great Jeff Picaro. And this guy was one of the drummers that talked about Jeff, and I had posted his a video about that, and that's the great John Robinson, J.R. Robinson. And back in 2004, he did a solo album called... Well, maybe, let me see, maybe that's the plumbers. Hello? Hello, this is a courtesy call from Bob. Uh, no, a robocall. <laughs> this is why I hardly ever answer the phone. Um, so we did this album back in 2004 called Funk Shui. And uh, it was so much fun working with him. Uh, so, but rather than, I'm gonna read a, some of his history here. Uh, I, I'm sure everybody out there has heard music that John played on. He's one of the most in-demand drummers in the business. And uh, so I'm gonna read a little stuff I found on Wikipedia here. And then I'm going to go ahead and play this uh, track that we did. Uh, John Frederick Robinson, uh, born in 1954, known professionally as J.R., is an American drummer and session musician who has been called one of the most recorded drummers in history. He's known for his work with producer Quincy Jones, including Michael Jackson's multi-platinum Off the Wall album and the charity single We Are the World. J.R.'s drum uh, Phil kicks off Jackson's chart topper, Rock With You, and his drum solo opens the Steve Winwood album, Back in the High Life, to begin the number one song, Higher Love. 
Rolling Stone listed JR in 2016 at number 81 in their list of top 100 greatest drummers of all time. He was awarded one Grammy Award for Rufus Shaka Khan single, Ain't Nobody, but he has played drums on more than 50 Grammy winners. JR plays in many different styles. His first fame came with funk band Rufus, and he recorded dance funk hits with the Pointer Sisters. Uh, and in the pop rock fields, his work stretches from straight up a rock of John Fogarty, Bonnie Raitt, and Peter Frampton to the mainstream pop of Lady Gaga, Daft Punk, Wilson Phillips, and Madonna. JR has backed many contemporary R&B singers, including Whitney Houston, uh, Richie, uh, Lionel Richie, and Anita Baker, as well as vocal pop soft rock singers such as Barbara Streisand, Seal, Peter Cetera, and Rod Stewart. He played on a string of pure country hits by George Strait, uh, Clint Black, and Toby Keith in the 90s. His film score assignments shifted into high gear drumming for Hans Zimmer, Christopher Beck, and James Newton Howard. And throughout JR's career, he has collaborated with jazz artists ranging from Jeff Lorber uh, to David Benoit to um, Sadeo Watanabe. JR says he is a chameleon of a drummer. He's a studio musician. I mean, that's, that's the, the thing that's, you know, that's what we do. We, we get called to do things, and, uh, and we do them. You have to um, wear many hats uh, when it comes to, to uh, the, that profession. You know, it's one thing to be, a, you know, somebody who plays, you know, fusion or pop or something, but a lot of guys in those fields don't do other fields. They're, they're very specific in what they do. But as a studio player, you really have to be a chameleon and put on a different hat every time you go to work. Um, so this track uh, is called Telling Lies, Cold as Ice. Um, let me see if it's got a, a composer. Hold on one second. Let's see what it's got to say. Now oh, it's not listing any other stuff on here, but... Um, the band on this is myself on bass, uh, JR on drums, um, Michael, Th the great Michael Thompson on guitar, uh, Mark Williamson on lead vocal, uh, Chris Robinson doing the rap vocal on this. The background vocals on this are Robbie Wyckoff and Mark Williamson. And JR also did uh, keyboards and programming on this track. Uh, it was really fun. I, 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 I I love working with John. We we do so many projects together. We've been working together, you know, since, you know, the 80s, pretty much, um, on a really regular basis. And uh, he, he's a joy to play with and really amazing cat. So let's go ahead and listen to some music here. This is John Robinson, Telling Lies, Cold as Ice, from his Funk Shui album from 2004. Here we go.
hesitate how true the quest is in my mind all about you Colder than a blizzard, freezing like a winter When you open up, I felt that your life splits I shiver it up, my back and down my spine Shutting up emotions and they all mine Twice, I was nice, believing you could realize But all the cries and still you're telling lies Ooh. Boy, Mark Williamson, such a great singer. I love his voice. Um, that was uh, also on that track I used, my ding wall. That's the beauty of that five string. Boy, it's just fat and thick. Um, so that's that, Cold as Ice. Um, it's a great tune, great song. Um, yeah, I, I, I just really love playing with John. It just always feels good pockets, deep, deep, deep pocket. So, um, so that's that's it. A nice, nice, quick little visit today. Tomorrow's clubhouse. Be there, be square, as the old saying goes. Um, I'm going to uh, uh, just be biding my time till the uh, plumbers get here and, uh, and deal with all of that. But um, again, I am going to uh, thank everybody working so hard. The mandates are changing uh, drastically here in Los Angeles. They're talking about really eliminating the masks for a great deal of what's going on. Um, and I, I hope it doesn't backfire. I mean, there's nothing I'd like better than to see this um, get resolved like that. But I just, I'm just concerned that, you know, they say things are going really good, so now we'll lower the, uh, the uh, requirements. But things are getting much better because people have been adhering to the requirements. So we'll see. Fingers are crossed that... Uh, this will be okay. And God knows my heart goes out to the Ukrainian people. They are fighting such a valiant battle against this madness that's been um, just thrust upon them by this psychotic lunatic and his minions. I mean, and now they've got Belarus gonna talking about changing their constitution to allow him to install nuclear weapons uh, over <laughs> It's like... Okay, now so now we're talking about nuking them. Uh, it's the madness in this world. The, there's so much magic in this world. There's so much beauty, and there's so much that makes it such a remarkable little orb floating in space. And then there's that other side of this darkness of humanity that's just so hard to fathom. The pure, pure evil. It got nothing to do with humanity or anything. It's just. These people that just thrive on being as vile a creature as they possibly can be. And um, certainly Putin has proven himself throughout his entire career from his days at the KGB to where he's at now uh, to be really one grotesque creature. And it's just sad that his, his, his whims can affect so many in such a terribly negative way. So my heart really goes out to the, to the people of Ukraine. And uh, I, I hope they can prevail in this, but to, to see these families being ripped apart and uh, 
children being you know blown up in apartment buildings and stuff and it's just unreal just unreal so i always i hate ending on this stuff i'd like to just end with the music you know that's that's my life has been all about music but my head is not buried in the sand but you have to wake up every day and realize the world we're living in and it, that world affects everything we do and uh yeah, I just want it to get better. That's all I can say. So take good care, and I will see you all tomorrow uh, with more another uh, artist, um, but also the clubhouse. I'm really looking forward to that. It's, it really is one of the highlights of my month is that twice a week, uh, twice a month visit with everybody there. It's a remarkable gathering of, of wonderful people, and uh, I really appreciate it. So I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, okay, bye-bye.